into the disco scene. What's up, everybody? This week, the Raiders play at home versus the New York Jets. Also, the Raiders get back their starting fullback, Jamez Olawale. It'll be interesting to see the Raiders' rush game when they have a lead blocker. The Raiders' defense stepped up last week, but can they do it again? The Jets' quarterback, Josh McCowan, has to be put under pressure. The Raiders have to blitz. Mack and Irvin have to get pressure. Also, McCowan last week against Buffalo, he went 2 for 6 on passes that he was pressured on, and he had 16 yards on those passes, and he threw two interceptions. Apply pressure. The Jets left guard James Carpenter, who last played in Seattle, is their best lineman. The Raiders have to apply pressure on the edges. Khalil Mack, Bruce Irvin, they have to apply pressure. Their two tackles aren't that good. The Raiders' defensive ends should have a good game. Also look for Mario Edwards Jr. The Raiders' run D had a good game against Tennessee. But this week, they have another two-headed monster with the Jets. Bilal Powell and Matt Forte. Can the Raiders defense step up again? This game could get ugly for the Jets if the Raiders defense shows up again. Also, the Raiders get back their first round draft pick from Ohio State cornerback Gary Young Connolly. Let's see what he has. He might get an interception. The Raiders should use their tight ends Lee Smith and Jared Cook and maybe a little Clive Wolford to help out their two tackles versus this solid defensive line for the New York Jets. That's it for me today. Let's watch the game. Hopefully the Raiders win. Hang loose. Life's a beach. Stay out my sands.